All right, hello, and welcome to the very first pairwise challenge. In this challenge video, I'm going to be walking through how to solve this challenge and then also giving you a quick introduction to how you can use the workspace here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing is that we have this instructions box here, and the instructions for the challenge are telling us that there's an H1 tag in the code editor and it contains the text pairwise. And our job is to change this text to say, hello, pairwise. Okay, so we can come down here and we can see that we have some text in here in the editor and it currently has the word pairwise. So I'm gonna just increase this a little bit in size. And we wanna change this to say, hello, pairwise. So we can just type hello and then type an exclamation point here. And now you'll see that a few things have changed. One is that over here, we, we saw this change from saying pairwise to now saying hello pairwise. And then also now we have our test, which is passing down here. So I'll explain a little bit more about these in a moment, but um, for now, let's just continue with our instructions, which are once we have finished, we wanna click the run button in the editor. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we'll see that we passed the challenge. And so our solution worked. We have this nice success model to, to come in and we have a few options here. So we can provide some feedback for the challenge. Um, so we would really encourage you to provide feedback on any challenge. If you encounter any issues or if the challenge is confusing or if something doesn't make sense, or if you think that there's a problem, for example, maybe the tests don't work or there's some kind of bug, we'd really encourage you to submit feedback and we try to address all feedback directly. And you can access the feedback here, or you can come up here and submit feedback on any challenge at any time. We can also stay here and we can watch a video or we can view some content or we can move forward to the next challenge. So I'm gonna stay on the, on the current challenge and come down to this content area where we have this video, which is what you're watching right now. And we have some other instructions and information about this, this video here. You can see we can also keep scrolling and then we have another option for feedback and we can just proceed to the next challenge. All right, and so coming back up to the actual workspace here, um, just a few things to explain more about how this is working. All of the challenges will look pretty similar to this where you have some instructions first and then you have a code editor here and this is a real live code editor. And then you'll have this bottom panel where you have test cases and these are defining different tests which are evaluating whether or not the solution in the code editor is passing all of the um, requirements for the challenge. So you will see these change from a red status of failure to this nice green status of success when you pass the tests. And this challenge only has one test, but some other challenges have more than one test. And then finally, we have on the right side this preview panel. So this is essentially giving you a preview of what your code is doing. And our first challenge here is an HTML challenge. And so the preview is rendering out a live preview of the actual HTML document. So this is basically a, a, like a, a preview version of the web page that you are creating here. And that's what will happen for HTML challenges like this. But for different types of challenges later in the curriculum, the preview will be something different. Um, for example, the preview for the code challenges will just be a console output, which will show you the messages that are printed out from your program. And so now I wanna just explain that um, probably some of the things that we introduced here you are not familiar with, for example, the H1 tag, or maybe the idea of HTML, or maybe there's a lot of elements that you're not very familiar with yet. And that's completely okay. We've designed the pairwise to, the pairwise curriculum to really start from the very beginning and not assume anyone has any additional knowledge. So with that being said, there will be some elements and challenges which you may not fully understand. And that's okay because it should still be possible to solve the challenges. For example, in this challenge, we were able to solve the challenge even though we don't have any idea what this H1 tag is here. And so our goal with Pairwise is to give you these small step-by-step -step challenges to start to build up knowledge over time. And later in one of the next challenges, we will introduce what the H1 tag is and what this syntax is and also what HTML is. So you will learn all of these elements as you move forward through the challenges. But our goal is to really teach them through this active hands-on process of solving challenges. 
And of course, we really want to try to create the most supportive environment possible. So if you get stuck on any challenge, we're trying to add a lot of these challenge exc explanation videos down here in the bottom, and maybe also some other content to read, which should provide supplementary content to understand how to solve the challenge. And so with that said, I've gone on for quite a while now. And uh, um, the next thing for us to do is, of course, to just proceed to the very next challenge and have our try at reading the instructions, checking out the, the code editor, and trying to see if we can solve this on our own. All right, that's going to wrap up this first challenge video. And thank you for visiting Pairwise. And just one more thing to mention, you have the option at any time to log in and sign in to Pairwise using one of these options here. And this is a super simple and easy process. And if you do this, then your progress history, for example, now that we have completed well, actually I've completed all four of these challenges before, but I have now completed these challenges here. And so this progress history is stored um, or it will be stored on my account as soon as I sign in. So if you would like to have that progress history is stored and associated with your account, it's just a one simple click away and we would encourage you to sign up. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this first video and um, good luck in the next few challenges and we will see you in the next video.